You did your Epley maneuver to treat your vertigo. Now what? My name is Amy Moore. I'm a vestibular physical therapist, which means I treat dizziness, balance problems, and vertigo. And I do my fair share of Epley maneuvers on my patients. This is part 10 of my BPPV series where I tell you what to do after an Epley maneuver. If you've ever had the misfortune of having to treat your vertigo or BPPV with an Epley maneuver, you know that after the Epley maneuver, it's not quite over yet. The two most common questions I get is what do I do immediately following the maneuver to make sure that I don't undo what I just did? And what do I do to make sure that I've completely resolved the BPPV? So for the first question, you do not have to sleep sitting up. You can lay down, you can roll over, you can bend over, you can look up, you can even lay on your bad ear after you have kept your head upright for approximately one hour. Research has proven time and time again that sleeping in a neck brace or sleeping sitting up does not improve the success of the maneuver. The thought process behind not laying down or wearing a neck brace or keeping your head still after an Epley maneuver comes from allowing the crystals time to sit into the membrane that you just place them inside after an Epley maneuver. We used to think that once we get the crystals back to the membrane, we need to keep the membrane upright, which is the head in this upright position. We used to think that if you lay down too quickly, you could cause those crystals to tip and fall back out. When in reality, if you actually make those crystals touch the membrane, it only takes a split second for them to get really stuck down. So my recommendation is to keep your head upright for about an hour to give those crystals a chance to sink in and get really stuck down and then move freely. Do every position and motion you can think of that made you dizzy before to see if it still makes you dizzy. If it does, you didn't get all the crystals and you need to remaneuver. And to answer the second question, which is how do you know if the maneuver was successful? First of all, if it wasn't, you'll still have symptoms. When you change positions, you'll still have vertigo and nystagmus, which is repeating eye movements for about 10 to 30 seconds whenever you move those crystals. And second of all, you can always retest yourself to see if you are still positive for BPVV. You can go back to part six of this series to see how I teach you how to do that. And of course, if you're feeling lost and like you need professional help, do not be afraid to go and find a vestibular specialist near you who can help you to diagnose and determine if you need to do more Epley maneuvers. You can find a vestibular specialist near you at vestibular.org directory.